Hi, welcome to an Autodesk Fusion 360 video tutorial. I want to do the cam belt, which I did already in some of the other programs. Let's start with a sketch on maybe this plane. I go for a spline and this might look something like this. Okay. Stop the sketch. Now I need a plane which is normal to that path. So select it and there you could go for the position. Zero would be the start point. I will move it a little bit away from the start point. So go for zero. Z point zero one. Yes, or let's do five. Okay. Next, I want to do a sketch on that plane. And I just need a line which starts right here, which is the intersection point. Goes vertically up and maybe the length is 15. Stop that sketch. Now I need another sketch on that plane. And just include or project that line and confirm and stop the sketch. Now let's hide sketch 2 and make some extrude in the patch environment. Extrude this one. Make it symmetric. Whole length. Make it 20. And again, an extrude with this line. Make it again symmetric. Again, whole length, again 20. Now let's thicken this surface. Make it symmetric, yes, and make it 0 0.5. You have to make sure that the second thicken feature is completely inside this one. So you should check or you could go for yeah let's see if it works so the next thicken this one again symmetric and make it three and don't forget to join it in fusion i can pattern all the features along the path and even the fillets which is not possible in all the programs. So let's go back to model and make some fillets. One, two, let's say three millimeters and another one at the top and make it two millimeters. Okay. Okay. I want to use at least one parameter, so I go to Modify, Change Parameters. I will make a new user parameter right here and call this one Tooth Number. With my usual notation and there should be no units because that's just a number. And for start maybe 20. And OK. And OK. Now, in Fusion, I can pattern along a path, even the fillets. So I will go for a pattern, a pattern on path, go for features, the thicken, the fillet, and the other fillet. The path is that sketch. Okay. 
make it path direction, make it spacing. Don't get irritated by this warning because it's still 0 and 0. And the distance should be the length divided by the tooth number. So if I could measure it right there, and that's possible, see measure, and I want to measure that curve, so I hide the bodies, select the curve, that's okay, and the distance should be this divided by the tooth number. Okay. And this should be the tooth number. Yeah. But maybe I reduce it by one. And spacing, path direction. So maybe the preview is wrong or there is a problem right here because identical, yes, and path direction seems somehow wrong. I could adjust, optimize, identical, that makes no difference. But I think the problem is that I don't start at the beginning. That might be the problem. Let's just uh, confirm this. And see, this didn't quite work. That's because I didn't start at the beginning right here. So I will have to change it. So the problem is I didn't start with the beginning of that curve. So I have to go back in time, right there, change to my patch environment, and extend that a little bit, that edge, Make it 10, yes. Now go back to my plane and move it to the beginning of the curve of the original one. So zero is the starting position. Okay. Now let's move back, OK, OK, everything is fine, now let's make the pattern, yes, that's it. Now maybe I could go by tooth number right now, confirm, and I'm done. So, hope you enjoyed this one. If yes, give it a like down below, leave a nice comment. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.